Hi everyone. Thanks for joining another 5-Minute Modeler where we take brief but informative looks at various issues and provide tips and tricks to enhance your model railroading experience. While I model an end scale, other scales are just as important, so don't leave as you may find some interesting information that will help you. Today we're going to use JMRI Decoder Pro and add a locomotive to our roster. In order to use Decoder Pro, you need to connect your layout to a computer. This requires a USB interface which connects your throttle, your layout, and your computer all together. This is a fairly simple process that once connected will provide significant flexibility with the program. To add a new locomotive, open Decoder Pro. Today we'll be adding an Atlas GP38 to the roster. We do this by clicking the New Loco button. A list of locomotive manufacturers appears and we can select the brand Atlas and expand the selection and then select Atlas N scale. From there it provides additional decoder options and we'll select N12A2 as this is the decoder in this locomotive. If you don't know the decoder in your locomotive you can click the button read type from decoder and JMRI will read the decoder. In some cases it may provide multiple choices. Generally, when it does, these decoders are very similar. Select any of them and you'll probably be okay. From there, we'll fill out the box for roster ID. This can be anything, but most modelers use the road name and number of the locomotive. In this case, I'll name it GTW6207, as this is the road and number on this locomotive. You may have already programmed your locomotive to the long address. If so, the decoder will read this and select the appropriate button and fill out the active address. If not, you can use either the short or long address. The long address will be up to four digits. The next box says Analog DC Operation. If you're going to run your locomotive on both a DC and DCC layouts, then you'll want to select the DC Conversion Enabled option. Otherwise, if you're going to only run on a DCC layout, then my recommendation is to use the NMRA digital option. The reason I recommend this is because occasionally DCC signals may drop momentarily, particularly when using wireless throttles. If you have the DCC conversion enabled, the locomotive will respond to the DC signal in your track. With DCC, full voltage is running through your track at all times. Your engine will take off like a rocket in this case and will continue to run on DC even after the DCC power is restored. By using the digital only option, you'll eliminate this possibility. Now, all you need to do is select the right button and JMRI will write those changes to your decoder in your locomotive. One note, if you purchased your locomotive used, it's possible that the decoder has already been programmed and isn't responding to certain commands. In that case, you may need to reset your decoder to the factory settings in order to start from scratch. See the 5-minute modeler video on resetting NCE decoders, and I'll link to it in the notes section for an example. You can now close this window and you will see your locomotive on the roster. Click on your locomotive, and in the lower right, select Programming on Main to continue programming your locomotive. At this point, you likely don't need to do anything to run your locomotive. Let's continue to add information to the roster window. Here we can add the road name, the manufacturer and model of the locomotive, and any other notes we would like to make about the locomotive or the decoder. Once complete, hit the Save to Roster button. Finally, the headings on your roster can easily be toggled on and off by hovering over any of the headings and right clicking and you will see the list of fields. Toggle these on or off by just clicking on the appropriate ones. Well that's all for this episode. Check out the other 5-Minute Modeler videos on other functions within JMRI. Hit the like button and please subscribe. Once subscribed, click the bell icon to be alerted to new episodes. Thanks for watching.